Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Tabitha Yant, the owner of Elegant Homes and Interiors. And uh, come on here and tell me hello. And tell me what you're doing on this day. I think, my goodness, I'm gonna be completely honest. I really don't even know what day it is. Uh, it feels like it's just all kind of blubbered together. I don't know about you guys, but that's how it's felt. Um, basically, once December hits, it's just like a big rush to get all everything in and to do all things. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I feel. Hello, Barbara. Tell me if you can hear me, Barbara. And uh, come on here and tell me hello. And tell me if you're watching this on replay or where you're coming from. One of the questions um, that I wanted to ask you guys today is, dun, 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 dun. I always ask you guys a question. Have you guys gotten your Christmas put up? Okay. Have you gotten all your Christmas down? Have you got it all stored away? Have you gotten all the things done? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Yay! Okay, good. I always like to make sure that you can hear me because everybody always has a problem with that. Um, so tell me, come on here and tell me, have you guys gotten all your Christmas down? Is it all put up? Is it all stored away? I gotta be honest. Come in here, we're gonna have a big chat today. So come in here and uh, tell me hello and tell me if you're um, watching this on replay. Um, but one of the biggest things, Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Barbara. Okay, so tell me if you guys are um, got all your stuff put up. I got to tell you what happened. I started in yesterday morning. I'm not kidding you. I started in and put mine down yesterday. Me too, Barbara. Um, I literally um, put everything down, got everything down. It was super crazy. Sorry. it's It doesn't ever fail that I'm on here and somebody's trying to text me or something. So, uh, yes, yesterday I we got home. We went to Branson, Missouri um, for a quick little trip in between um, Christmas and New Year's. And on New Year's, we went to family in Topeka. We had a fabulous holiday, a fabulous Christmas, and a, a awesome, awesome New Year's. And got to spend it with friends and family and all the things. So yesterday, we got home on, let's see, Saturday. Yes, we got home on Saturday. And so I said, okay, everybody. No, we got home on Sunday. Excuse me, sun, Sunday. And so Monday, we all had off. And I said, we're taking all this Christmas down. <laughs> and as you know, there was a ton of stuff. There was lots of trees, lots of fluff and ornaments and things like that. So I got my Christmas down. Everybody's been asking me that. Have you gotten it down? Have you gotten it down? And I said, yes, I have. So tell me if you have Christmas decor still up and hosting family and setting. Okay, so some of you, that's a good thing, because some of you have not even done all your Christmases yet. Um, there was a couple ladies that um, are, we decorate their houses for Christmas, and I already was scheduling to take some of that stuff down. Um, some people we do that with, some people we don't. Um, but anyhow, they were like, we haven't even had all of them, so no problem. So I was like, perfect, that's excellent. If you haven't gotten all your Christmas down or whatever, I understand completely. It takes time. Tree is down, but still have decor still up. Okay, gotcha. Okay, Stephanie, that I can help you there. Okay, so the biggest thing is is I did get all this stuff down, and it literally took me all day long to get all my decor down. And, you know, it just happens. It just seems like there's fluff everywhere. And then, but I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I don't know. I I ha we had it up before Thanksgiving, and then once we took it down this year, I was like, woo! -hoo! It gave me a whole renewal to do something completely different in my house. So, um, come on here and tell me hello. Hello, everyone. Mine is all over the floor. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, you're getting there. You're getting there. So, maybe I can inspire you today to decorate and do some different things and get all your Christmas down because that's just what we're trying to do, right? But hold off a little bit because we want to talk about what ways, six ways to make your house home, your home cozy after Christmas. I cannot say that. Why? Why? I have to get back in the groove of this. Six ways to make your home cozy after the holidays, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm super excited. I have some little samples here and some different things to show you. So I'm so excited to show you. Okay, so with all of that, I'm going to tell you, I took down our Christmas, and I was looking at everything, and I went to each room doing that, and as I did it, I got to be completely honest, as I was telling you, it gave me a renewal because I was actually, which is the number one thing I want you to do, is declutter your house, okay? In the Elegant Community, we're going to be talking about this extensively. I'm just going to hit on it a little bit here, but if that is something that you really need, 
get over there. This month we are going to be talking about decluttering your house and we're going to be doing these challenges together. So I'm super excited to do this. It's the first time we've done a challenge to actually do it together. So we're going to be doing that in the Elegant community. Hello, Sally. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. So the number one thing is declutter. Okay. What I'm saying when I say declutter, when you look at your house and you're taking down all your Christmas, I want you to look at that room and think the things that you love in it and the things that you don't love in it. You've got to really look at those rooms and really declutter. But there's a few things that you will want to keep out for winter decorating because I know that everybody's going to ask that. What do you keep out for winter decorating? And we're going to go through those in the other um, five different things. But for today, for the number one thing, I want you to declutter. And when I say that, get all the fluff down, start cleaning behind your couches, doing all the stuff, plus... Everybody has clutter that is not even Christmas or any decor, like magazines and things like that, all sitting around, hanging around, and just making your house just feel very cluttered. So, you've got to declutter that stuff, okay? We're going to talk about the three ways of get decluttering your um, space, um, and it's super simple, super easy, and it really works, guys. I did this all day yesterday in my house, and I got to tell you, it feels amazing. It feels very um, freeing and uplifting. So once you declutter your house, wah, 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 I know that everybody's going to say it feels very dark and cold and starkish. So what can we do to warm it up? So the second thing that I'm going to tell you is always, if you, if you guys follow me at all, you guys are going to know that I'm going to say this. If you want to change a space like your living room really fast and kind of warm it up, Throws and pillows are the number one thing to do that, okay? So number two, I'm going to tell you, you got to get some pillows, guys. The pillows, and I am a big down lover, you know that. We sell custom pillows to most of our customers. We're going to try to get that out to you guys this year. We're, these are going to be online, more custom, the beautiful fabrics. But look at this houndstooth, and it's kind of got a plaid houndstooth. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got the beautiful piping. And it's got, um, you know, the down, which I love. And then if you get one, you get a zipper on it as well. So you can always take it off and interchange these pillows. So when you're looking at your house and you're thinking, okay, I could, where can I put pillows to warm it up and throws? You can put pillows on your bed. You can put pillows in your living room. You can put them on your sofas, your couches, um, a setting area that you have, and then Always toss over um, like a little throw. I love, love pillows. Pillows can change the whole look and the whole feeling of a space, okay? Just on what fabrics you pick out and what colors. So that is my number two tip to um, making your house feel cozy is pillows and throws, okay? So let me know if you guys do that. If you add some different pillows after Christmas, you want to kind of take out the red. That's really important. You know, I've got a red top on, but that's kind of a thing that you really want to take out all the red for sure. Okay. Okay. So number three, we're going to talk about three candles. Yes. I'm talking about candles. When I was decluttering my space yesterday, I really uh, felt like, oh my gosh, it's getting so dark and it's gloomy in here and all the things. I'm going to show you some tips not just candles because fire just makes everything feel so warm and cozy and a lot of you guys have told me i don't have a fireplace okay that's a bummer womp, womp, womp. but we're going to show you how to add some um some fire or some um you know things to your space um to make it feel good look at these guys they have all kinds of battery operated candles not just regular um candles that you light and for smell um, good morning. Good morning, Kim. Um, but you can also add battery operated candles. Okay. And this is going to light up your space. This is going to put them everywhere, put them on trays, put them on your mantle, put them on, um, you know, like your island, put them all over the place because this just gives a little glue, uh, the gloominess. It adds the light and it gives it some warmth. You can put these on a timer. Okay. You guys can put these on a timer. You guys can do all kinds of things. So when you get home from work or whatever, wherever you're coming from, you'll have that little glow when the night is coming in. And it's absolutely amazing. Like today, we have an overcast and it's all nice and rainy. It's really nice to go in my house and they have all these little uh, battery operated candles all over. Okay. So you could put these on an entryway table. You can put them basically anywhere. Um, even just, just all different styles and types of them. 
put them everywhere, even in your bathroom. I love to put them in my bathroom because nothing's prettier than to put some little light. But look at this one. It's kind of got a little flickering to it. I wish you guys could see that a little bit better. But these all can be on battery. Uh, these all can be on timers. And who doesn't love that? You don't have to mess with it until it's just no more batteries, right? So make sure that you're adding lots of candles, battery operated candles and real candles. Because as we all know, we want the smell and that glow. And that just brings, it takes out the lights from the Christmas trees, but we're going to bring it back in with lots of candles. Okay. So that is number two. So that was my number two tip. Number three. Oh, that was number three. I'm sorry. First off, declutter. Number two, pillows and throws. Number three, candles, okay? Number four. I know you guys are going to be killing me here when I say this, but it's greenery, okay? When you're taking all that Christmas down and you're thinking, okay, I got to get rid of this. I got to get take this all down and stuff. I got to be completely honest. I did do mine. It's a slate palette, but that's a whole nother reason, and I'll tell you about it later. It's my secret that's coming up. I have lots of awesome things to share with you guys this year. But when I was taking it down, make sure when you're taking it down, don't take all your little trees. You know, I'm a big tree fan. I sent those out in the mystery boxes and different things. Leave some of your garlands, okay? If it looks like it's growing in nature, if you walked outside and it's got pine cones and all the things, you want to leave some of that out like a snow flock. See, you got to remember what you're actually looking for when you're looking for the elements after for winter decor. It's like snow flocked things um, and things like that. So you really, really want to make sure that you leave some of this stuff out. You, if you wanted to declutter some of it, that's fine. But be very selective and leave some of the trees out. Leave some of the little snow flock trees, the regular trees, um, your pine cones, and things that are in nature. That's exactly what you want to do, okay? So like your pine cones, you know I'm a big fan. There's still some of these available in, in the boutique. So go over there and look in the boutique. But there's like elements like this that you can put in your trays with a little bit of um, a little tree behind it and some snow. Voila. I mean, you've got it. It's so, so pretty. It is okay to leave out snowmen. Yes, yes, Stephanie, it's okay to leave out snowmen. Um, anything that doesn't look Christmassy, you can leave it out, okay? So no worries there. Definitely do that. I'm always making new uh, seasonal pillows. I think that's awesome. Putting, back, putting the zippers in them is fantastic. So that's really important. But things like this that are in the elements with pine cones, Put these on your trays, put these on um, your mantles and things like that. And I promise you, especially with some battery operated candles, it'll give you that glow and that pretty warmth that you have. The one thing that you want to make sure that you're not doing is leaving red out, okay? Like my shirt. You don't really want to do that because it'll look like Christmas going on. You want to take out all the red and put back more neutrals, okay? So a little a more neutral palette will just really make that feel like winter versus um, Christmas, okay? So another thing I wanted to show you, I absolutely love these guys. I've been waiting to show you guys these, but these kind of guys are the thing that you really want to add to your decor. Look how darling these are. Um, snowflakes are big, 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 big. They're all different sizes and shapes, but like this could set on a tray really easily. These are super darling. They've got a little bit of element to them, so they look like, but this is the kind of stuff that you want to set out to make your house look winter, like winter has hit. Um, anything with skis, you know, those kind of things, you definitely want to add some of those elements to your decor, okay? And I know this is a lot, but you can watch it on replay and make sure you share with your friends and family um, so that they can get some of these tips as well. So we have number four was greenery and pine cones and natural things and a little bit of that stuff you want to leave out. Um, what about Valentine's Day? Have you had, okay, so once Valentine's, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but once Valentine's hit, you can put a little bit of red mix in there. But right now we really want to just really declutter and kind of just make a neutral palette, more of the whites and the blues and some of the greens that you put in um, with just trees and things like that. That's really what we're working on. Okay, number five. Number five is one of my very favorites for winter decor. If you come to my house, you're going to see this all over. And it's kind of like the snow flocked trees and things like that. 
So keep your snow out, guys. Keep your snow on your trays and your lanterns. I put them in my lanterns. I just filled my the bottoms of it with snow. We'll make some of these, I promise, so you guys can get this. But leave your snow out. That's what winter is all about. It's about the snow, the snowflakes, um, snowmen, um, ski, the kind of the ski lodging thing. Just take all the Christmas red out of items out and then reinforce it with some of the real neutral throws and pillows and stuff like that. So you definitely want to keep your snow out because that really kind of gives it a little glow and it makes it feel like Christmas. So wherever you can put this, put it, okay? Because keep that stuff out because we really want that to be, it's just going to give it a little bit of glow and a little bit of glisten. And that's really what we want our houses to still feel like when we come home, especially. And adding the candles in will be perfect. So number six, we're already at number six, everyone. Yay! Um, number six, it's called lamps. <laughs> super simple. These, these things are super, super simple. But one of the things that lamps do is gives this ambiance, okay? It gives this warm glow, this welcoming welcome to your home. And I know a lot of you guys say, oh my gosh, Tabitha, <laughs> My neighbors always ask me, they're like, you always leave your lamps on? Yes, I do. But I will tell you that I have put them all on a timer. So that is a little um, given little hint there. If you put all of your lamps on a timer, so when you come home, I would definitely, definitely, um, you know, have a timer there so that they come on before you even arrive home. I love that all year long. I, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas, if it's in or spring. I love a good lamp. Now, this is where you need to really take, um, you know, some notes and things like that. And if you have a hard time deciding where to put lamps, get in the elegant community. We talk about um, placement of furniture and lamps and all the decor and all the things. So if you're having trouble, get in the elegant community because we'll be going through the seven basic steps of decorating this year. So, and, and lamps is one of them. And I really think it's super important to know exactly where to put a lamp because it gives this warm glow. Have you ever drove, I know this is weird, but I'm going to tell you, have you ever drove by somebody's house and you're just kind of driving by and you're kind of looking and you always see this glow of a lamp in the window? Perfect placement. So you really want that glow and that warmth after all the Christmas lights come down. Um, lamps are going to give that to you. Okay. I'm going to show you this little lamp that I absolutely love, 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 love. So I'm going to give you some more tips here. Um, when you are decorating your kitchen, because a lot of us are like, okay, the kitchen's now gone and it's kind of dead and it's kind of boring. I always put little lamps. This is really, it's, it's not very big. It's less than a foot, maybe high, but I put these under my cabinets and it gives a little bit of glow. Once again, you can put it on a timer and things like that, but this gives the whole house some warmth and some energy back to it. Um, that's a cute lamp. Thank you, Janice. Um, so like this is in my kitchen. This actual lamp is in my kitchen under my cabinets. Um, and I absolutely love it. I just love it because like last night when I was taking all my decor down and I was like, man, it's just so, you know, kind of, you know, just dark in the house. I went and got my lamps and started placing those under my cabinets and voila, it just gives it a really warm glow. So if you have a space anywhere that's by a window, definitely make sure you place your lamps where you can see them. So lamps are really super important and don't forget to put them under your cabinets, okay? We talk about that in the Elegant Community a lot about how placements of lamps are so important because even um, even in the summertime, you want you, who wants to come home to a um, dark home? Nobody, not me, I don't. I don't ever wanna come home to dark home. And honestly, I'll be completely honest, I don't even really want to go at night when I leave my bedroom and I've got to get up and get a drink or something. I want it to be light in my house, okay? So lamps can give that little glow and that warmth, especially if you're having guests and things like that in a bathroom. Super important. Love lamps in a bathroom. Okay, so we're, that is our sixth one. I hope some of these tips were super helpful to you guys so that you guys could get back into the winter decorating. If you have any um, questions, leave them below. I think so many people are asking, cute lamp, thank you so much, beautiful lamp. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, Stephanie, um, love the lamp, thank you. Linda is asking, Linda Simpson, does it cost to get in the elegant community? Yes, it does, Linda. It's $17 a month, but I promise you, the women that have been there, they absolutely love it, so it's worth it. We give out tips every single week, and like this month is all gonna be talking about um, decluttering your house and we have guest speakers and things like that so it's totally worth it so we would love to have you in there linda um 
I have some cardinals. Can I leave them out? Yes, Jolene, that's a very good question. If you have some cardinals, I love birds all year long. I mean, Jason feeds them all the time. He's always feeding the birds because that's just, he's just a bird lover. But yes, if you see it out in nature, definitely get your little, um, you know, your cardinals out, get your um, blue jays out, get those little cardinals. As long as they don't have a Christmassy look with red on them or something, totally leave them out. Put them in your um, decor. You can, you know, put them in your garlands and things like that. And like the garlands that we just talked about on the five days of Christmas, which yay, that was so much fun, guys. I loved it. You can leave that garland out as well and add some picks to it. Add some uh, little white picks to make it look like it's uh, have a little bit of snow. So maybe some snowflakes. And I promise you, we'll do some more decorating for um, winter together. But yes, definitely leave those birds out as long as they don't have a Christmassy look because I love birds. What's wrong with birds, right? <laughs> okay, guys, if you have any more questions, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, thank you, Pat. I think Elegant Community is, is great and it's totally worth it. We're about ready to get in there this afternoon and start talking about decluttering your house. And that is all month long. And every month we'll have a, a theme and we'll be talking about it. We'll have lives. We'll have all kinds of things. So I totally think so too, Pat. So thank you. Okay, guys, I, I've been trying to get off here, but <laughs> I know it's so exciting because I haven't been on here. Definitely worth being in the elegant community. Thank you, Stacy. I'm leaving the little felt birds that you sent out. Oh, okay, so we gave a little gift in the elegant community. We give a gift twice a year. We give you one in the spring and we give one at Christmas, okay? And so the one at Christmas she's talking about, she's gonna leave those little birds out. That's darling. Those are, those are perfect for um, leaving those out with like wooden snowflakes and things like that. So perfect, Stacy. perfect suggestion. And thank you so much for saying the elegant community. You love it. I love it too. Um, so, okay guys, well, I'll be heading over to the elegant community here this afternoon, um, to talk about decluttering. So if you want to join us, come on over there and thanks guys so much and make sure you share. Bye-bye.